what is going on guys welcome to a 3d kit tutorial now i have done one of these in the past this is an updated one um because they've changed the template size of the kits and stuff so the old ones sort of don't work properly uh, firstly apologies if you hear like knocking and banging in the background we've got builders in still it couldn't be avoided i wanted to get this tutorial done so i apologize for that and secondly this is an old photoshop version because i'm on my laptop my pc's given up life so i'm on my laptop so you just have to bear with me so what we're doing today is i'm making some kits for somebody that wanted the 3d ones so i'm going to show you how to do the 3d kits try and put it in a really simple context for you i will make this template available download via a media file link in the comments down below it will come with this watford kit now this is what i've been doing to help me with placement of things i've faded a, a 3d watford kit which I downloaded in a pack for, so I can't remember where it was from, I apologise for that. Uh, but I just threw that on there, it's quite bright coloured, it's got stripes that sort of line out the edge of the shirts and stuff, so it helps out badge placements on the socks, uh, pattern placements on the socks, badge on the shorts, logos on the shorts, the arm logos and stuff. So it's quite a good little one to have behind there. There is this... But if you come onto it, it's a little bit like, oh God, well, you know, what's what's this all about? So it, that is there for those of you who want to use that. So coming into it, I'm also going to leave in this, which is the white stripes. We've got those on there. That's for Adidas kits, just to show you whereabouts they go. Uh, we also do have, you won't see them, but there's red stripes. Oh, yes, you will. Red stripes that go on the side of shorts if you want those on there. So you can have a little look at those as you go along. So what we're going to start off by doing is we need to change the base colour. And this is what is going to be the main colour of the shirt, the socks, the shorts. They're always, they're, they've got their own separate thing. There's a lot of different layers on this. It looks a bit overwhelming. Don't worry about it. it just take your time and you'll be all right so the shorts are here look you can turn them off and they'll just go red shorts or whatever the base color is but if you want whites i've made sort of a white couple of blocks so they go on there so we can have those if we wish to so this is going to be an adidas kit so first of all that's nice and easy for us so we're going to turn on the white stripes not the band be a bit awkward and for this the person in question wants them as blue so that looks a little bit crazy because it's on red at the moment so we'll do that just to start off with and then the backing for this is actually going to be yellow so we'll come in we'll perhaps just drop it down to about there just so it's not so glaringly yellow so that is the base done already which is really really easy these are the collars that you can get so we're, we've got the a collar at the moment which is this buttoned up one which is the actual one they want uh, but you turn that off and you'll see you've still got the shape so you've got the collars that have the main color in there and then a bit further up here you've got your shapes so you've got your u collar you can have on which is on at the moment uh, we've got the a collar we turn that off you've got like a v-shaped collar or a u-shaped collar there's not many choices in terms of collars but it doesn't really matter too much you can't really see them when you're doing you know your kits in game you don't really notice them too much uh let me just make sure i get the same blue this is something you want to make sure you do so we're just going to click on the overlay there's the color code there we'll copy that and it just ensures that you've got everything the same you know because you, you, there's nothing worse than getting the wrong shades of blue uh, i suffer from, i actually suffer from color blindness so sometimes it's a bit difficult for me but uh that's why i have to make sure i get the right ones so we've got the collars in and we've got those in and this is the kit you're going to know this is for and i hope he doesn't mind me showing using this as an example uh but spoiler alert it's for uh nottingham forest i'm not going to say who it is uh so basically we want to move these over into it so what you'd normally do is is go on to the google uh google adidas logo png or you know retro adidas logo png download it put it in and just sort of add a color overlay to it but we've already got them uh, as we've got them on here so i'm literally going to drag and drop them over we're going to start with the adidas logo 
just make sure we select the right tool just drag it and drop it it is on a wonk because on those shirts he says because on those shirts you kind of have to sort of to make them look right you have to give them a little bit of a twi you know sort of a off slant sort of idea you know what i mean if that makes any sense uh we'll just resize that a second and switch on the watford kit this is where this comes in handy because you can see where you need to place things for it to look right because sometimes you can put things on they don't quite look right so i'm just gonna make it's just a little bit smaller that's using control and t it's still a bit on the big side just use the arrow keys just to sort of move it into place so if you press control and t and then you can just hold shift in the corner and it'll resize it in proportion if you don't use shift you end up with it looking squashed or too wide and stuff so for me that's all right for me i'm happy with that and then what I'm just going to do while I'm doing the logos is right click on the Adidas logo, duplicate the layer, and then we're going to bring it down. So we're going to put some on the socks. So we're just going to move those using the arrow keys into a roundabout the right place. And then we're going to duplicate that one again. And then we'll just move it over and pop it on that sock. So they're there. And then we will duplicate it again. And bring another one down onto the shorts just sort of use the arrows again just sort of place it so it doesn't look too odd so if we switch the layer off with the Watford kit that's what we've got we do need to bring this one up a little bit it's a little bit too low that one there we go that round about there will do so I want to also have the shorts i think we're going to make those the blue so you just double click on the layer select color overlay i've already got it selected on here because it's white uh, if it was off it would just be whatever your standard base color is which on this occasion is just off white so we'll come in with that and then we're just going to control v just to paste that in and then we just need to make sure that we change the color for this logo here for the adidas one from blue to let's go let's see what the yellow looks like we'll go with the yellow because it sort of stays in with the kit then it all makes sense so that is that right next things we need to do is open up this bad boy again and we're going to take off this one now the nine forest logo so that's there just drag it and drop it on now again we need to just straighten it up slightly like that and we're just going to open up the Watford again control T and then we'll resize it a little bit move it into place and that looks about right let's just make it just a little bit bigger because it looks a little bit too small that's about right i'm happy with that maybe just a little bit I'm, I'm really weird when it comes to these badge sizes and stuff i like to try and get it right it doesn't really matter too much in the match engine because they don't look that they don't stand out much and then we're just going to come in and lastly but by no means least grab university of nottingham logo this one hasn't been and close that down now this one hasn't been sort of changed in terms of the angle or anything so we can literally just drop it down a bit oh that's the center of it we're going to remove that uh, and then just sort of bring it in maybe just use this to line it up a little bit with that and then drop it down into the center and hit OK maybe we'll make that just a little bit bigger maybe about about that big and then just move it over just a little bit and then that is pretty much it that is how simple it is um let's just make sure we've got that kind of in line that's about right 
I think it's about right. That is pretty much it. That's not right. <laughs> this is what I mean about me. I am really, really funny about trying to get things, that's it, as bang in the middle as possible. Let's try that and see what that looks like. That's it. That'll do. So that's pretty much it. It's very simple. It is really simple. It just looks very overwhelming with the amount of layers and stuff that are on the kit. And then I'm going to leave in the Premier League badge so you can have that switched on. There'll be one on this arm. This arm corresponds to this side of the shirt and this arm to that side. And then with these ones this arm that side this arm that side just so you know and you can just literally duplicate that badge bring it down and drop it on here so those two are the same arm those two are the same arm and it's simple as that really easy as peas all you got to remember to do is just change your base color try and get all your layers as low down on the layer list as possible when it comes to detail on the kit like with the socks if you want to change the color of the socks there is a layer here you see you can add that then just double click on it go to color overlay and just change whatever color you want but i think for this we'll leave the socks as the lovely yellow color but yeah that's how you do it in the 3d uh, i'll just switch that logo off i'd like to think that he will be in the Premier League when he gets them but we don't know for sure yet so that's that and then if you're having a kit which is the same exact same style just a different colour all you've got to do is change if it's an Adidas kit change your stripe colours change your shorts change the Adidas logo colours if you've changed the badge logo you know the badge colour change that the sponsor colour it's just changing colours it's very simple if it's the same design for two shirts so hopefully fingers crossed that hasn't been too babbling and confusing for you hopefully it's been okay like i say the link in the description down below will have this template in i will leave the watford kit on there faded in so you can kind of switch it on and get your things right but then once you've made one if you want to save it with your kit over you can then just replace the pieces whatever you whatever's easiest for you that will be in the description down below so hopefully it's helped out if it has guys leave a like let me know how you get on um when it comes to putting the kits into the game i will leave a config file also in the download link i'll put a file with this template and a config all you gotta do is go in and, and edit the config file so whatever you save the, this like i will save this as forest underscore away and then you just need the club id so where i've where i'll put club id you just need your club id where i put picture name you just need to put whatever you've called the picture same case same spacing exactly the same and you'll be fine any issues though hit me up on twitter i can help out to a certain degree i will say though if you have used uh, an in-game editor to change the 3d match engine kits some people do for lower league teams they like to change their kits over the season so they'll go in and they'll change the style of the kit that can mean that on that save your 3d kits cannot be overwritten just to pre-warn you so there is that i've had a few issues like people coming to me saying i can't change it we've gone through everything i can think of and that, then i've said if you use the editor or any sort of editor to change the kits they've gone yeah i like to have different kits every season I'm like, well that's where the issue is mate that's what you've done so just so you know but that is how to make these kits i've tried to say goodbye several times i'm going to do it this time thanks for watching guys it's been a pleasure babbling on like a lunatic in your ears Bye bye